everyone today we are looking at uh, urine under manual microscopic so the patient's uh, chemical part of their urine analysis um, this is a patient that has an isotonic urine uh, 1.010 specific gravity which means that the tubules are not concentrating the urine it's the same um, it's the same as the blood Okay, and uh, the only other thing that uh, is any bit of an indication of anything is that there's a trace protein in the urine, which is not supposed to happen unless there is renal damage. And the first one that the first protein to end up in the urine would be um, albumin, and that is what the dipstick detects. So um, there might be some renal damage there, or some glomerular damage. Um, so this is what uh, the, the urine looks like on low. So you see all of these amorphous looking um, uh, crystals. That's what all that trash looks like, okay? Uh, so since the pH is 8, sorry, I forgot to say that, um, the pH is 8, so we're expecting that this is going to be an alkaline type of amorphous uh, crystal. So what I did was I went and I um, used acetic acid uh, to try to get rid of the amorphous, and this is what ended up happening. Um, I'm trying to do this while looking at my phone. Um, the all the junk went away. Um, so these are bubbles. Sorry about that. But see, there's still stuff in there. Uh, but the, most of that junk went away. Okay, so I did find um, a renal tubular epithelial cell on the um, the junky one, and I got a really good picture of it. So we'll go back to the junky one real quick, take a look at it, and then um, go around on the one that got cleared up. Okay, so um, so we're gonna go, I'm on uh, low power, and I'm going to go around the outside to see if I see anything uh, that looks like a uh, cast or a cell a uh, large cell like a squamous. So see, this is what those amorphous um, phosphates look like, okay? So we say phosphates because that would be the alkaline form. If we had suspected that this was an amorphous urate, then we would end up using sodium hydroxide to try to get rid of it. That's called solubility testing. Okay, and uh, what I was looking for, I don't really see around here. So let's keep moving forward. All right, so we're gonna continue to scan. There we go. Uh, we're gonna continue scan the outside. Okay, so that looks like an artifact. Okay, it does not look like a cast. So we're gonna keep on going. And the phone sees stuff differently than my scope does. Mm. So that doesn't look like anything then. Is that what I was trying to find? Hmm. <laughs> and so why is everything moving? Well, I'll tell you why. Because we're on high, right? And um, that means that it, you know, when we focus in and out, we might be, I'm going to go back on low, um, we might be pressing the objective down on the slide. And since we're using a urinalysis slide, um, that's causing all of the fluid to move. And so the things, the, um, the cellularity pieces in the slide are moving too. Okay. So I had taken another video on this urine, um, 
but I didn't really like everything that I said in it. Um, so I'm trying to do this one. Um, this video instead but unfortunately I think we might have missed the beautiful RTE that I found in the other video so we'll try to see it um, so this looks like it could be part of a granular cast or a hemoglobin cast okay notice that it was formed together and kind of parallel okay so we've seen we've seen some uh, a cast that would cause us to believe that we would have renal tubular epithelial cells in here somewhere okay this is a fiber it's an artifact okay and so is that one up there all right um so i believe that the renal somewhere around here maybe there it is did you see it anybody raise your hand <laughs> I'll zoom in on it right now so that right there is the renal tubular epithelial cell let's go to 40 and miss it <laughs> okay um, oh goodness where did you go so it's on here somewhere. That's not it. That should be it. Yep, there we are. Look at that. Isn't she beautiful? Okay, so this is a renal tubular epithelial cell. Um, it is a little bit larger than a white blood cell. Okay, and see that beautiful um, circular nucleus. Okay, they can kind of be grainy cytoplasm. Um, this one kind of looks like it's got a little bit of a tip uh, at that bottom left side. Um, depending on where the renal tubular epithelial cell comes from or originates from in the uh, nephron will make it look different. Okay, so, so far we have seen um, less than one RTEs. Uh, and I'm going to say this also because I've already done this uh, slide. Um, less than one RTEs, less than one granular cast, uh, which I did show you. And that looks like it's a transitional. Um, oh, where is it on yours? I think it's right here. So this looks like it could be a transitional cell. But we're going to check it out by going on to 40, okay? So let's lose it again. <laughs> I'm going to get it on the scope. Oh, maybe not. Hmm. Maybe that's not what I was, what I found. Okay, well, I definitely lost it on my phone. I brought it onto the scope. Hmm. Let's try again. Where is it for you? Well, turns out that it didn't look like a transitional if, there we go. Or maybe it does. Okay, look how beautiful that is. All right, so we're gonna go with that one as a transitional cell. It's a lot bigger than the, uh, renal tubular epithelial cell. Okay, we're just gonna scoot around around it just to see if there's anything cool. Um, so, that's pretty much all that's there. And now we're gonna go over to, um, we're on low again, okay? And we're gonna go over to the acetic acid treated slide whenever you use a bench aid you also want to make sure that any counts that you make from that which you shouldn't really be making many counts at all depending on what it is um, I was doing a solubility test to see if I could get rid of the amorphous urates but if you are going to do a count off of this then you'd want to make sure to account for the um, dilution factor so how many 
how many drops of your specimen did you put in there? How many drops of the bench aid did you put in there? Um, and then calculate that way. Okay, so what I'm seeing in here is not very different at all from what I saw in the trashy one. Yes, I called it trashy. Okay, so we are on 40 just because uh, we kind of scanned this a little bit before. So I'm doing my 10 fields to count and I'm not really seeing much of anything. There's for you, that's a squamous epithelial that's kind of rolled up, okay? Those are always fun when you see it. You're like, ooh, that looks, oh, it's a squamous. <laughs> okay, um, I'm not really seeing much of anything and it's going right along with what we had said before. That can be, can, can uh, be a renal. Um, all granular and all that um, because they do eat they eat a lot of stuff um, that's where our oval fat bodies come from the renal tubular epithelial cells trying to eat it up and digest it um, that wasn't an oval fat body though um, and they can be confused with cast that's why I brought that up um, so this is another fiber okay not casty at all not a worm <laughs> I had, I had a lot of fun with my students today uh, talking about worms in urine. That was a very fun conversation. Um, let's see. So this looks like another squamous. Okay, the big one. And that's just another artifact. Okay. So doing the 10 fields that we've been looking through um, is very consistent with what we found in the other one, okay? So in the, in the uh, description of this video, I will post what the chemical uh, results were, okay? And then you can just go along with this video and talk about what the uh, cellular uh, microscopic, the manual microscopic was. If you liked this video and you found it helpful, please subscribe to my channel and like it and say anything nice about it that you want to. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask. Um, I am open to questions all the time and try to get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and I guess that's it for now. I was trying to end on something really cool looking. Um, but <laughs> let's go back to the trashy one. Thank you so much for watching. And I always really do appreciate your support. Um, thank you so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.